Well, today on The Boiling Point, we're going to be talking to Stephen Taylor, and we're going to talk about multiple boilers and gas pressures and how to actually size uh, the regulators for that. Now, before we do, make sure you like and share and uh, go out and just spread this all over the place because this is really good information and the Google algorithms love it, right? Uh, that's on YouTube, so share all those things for us. And we're excited to be with Stephen today on The Boiling Point. Welcome to The Boiling Point, I'm Richie Ware and this is Steven Taylor. Now sometimes we actually get in situations where we rent boilers, Steven, and we get one single boiler and you know, uh, gas pressure is always a challenge to, always. to work through and then they come up and say, hey, I need two boilers. Then it becomes even more of a challenge. So uh, I thought you'd maybe chat about that today. It is and, and, and it's not just with that, but, but <clears throat> what they'll try to do, they'll try to bring one gas pressure regulator in to feed two boilers with. Okay. In theory, that sounds great, but in performance, it doesn't work at all. Because mm -hmm. what'll happen is you'll have one boiler sitting there running, and let's say it's running at 80%, and all of a sudden it goes to high fire, and they need to bring the other boiler online. Mm -hmm. The gas line wasn't sized for that, sized for one boiler. The gas pressure re regulator sized for one boiler. So now you bring that on, the gas regulator starts starving the lead boiler, both of them go offline. Mm -hmm. So it causes a problem. We just had a job where we sent a boiler down. A customer's gas pressure was close. Wasn't too much, but it was just barely enough to do it mm -hmm. after their regulator, which is feeding their boiler. So the customer said, we're gonna just tie into that downstream of that regulator and feed your boiler with it. It's feeding our boiler, same pressure, it'll work fine. Yeah. Is the size big enough? Sure, it's size big enough. Okay, so here's the problem. When your boiler's sitting there running and mine calls for, for to, to come online and it starts running up, it's gonna starve your boiler and both boilers are gonna go down. So they had to go back to the gas meter run a high pressure line out, put a second regulator in to feed our boilers. So one regulator feeding multiple boilers is never a good idea. Mm. Now, on the flip side of that, if you've got 50 pounds coming in, you need to drop to 20 and then each boiler needs five, so you drop from 50 to 20 with one regulator and then you have individual regulators on each boiler to drop it down to the five pounds. That's perfect, okay. exactly what you need. But you have to have an individual regulator for each boiler to control the pressure to that boiler or you're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble. Right, so it literally will just shut off. It'll shut off. The, yeah. the, the, when it starts sucking, the low gas pressure switch will do what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The gas pressure drops below whatever that pressure, pressure switch is set for, mm -hmm. it shuts the boiler down. It says, now we're in a, an unsafe combustion uh, situation. We may be in there, we're not there yet, but we may be, so we're gonna shut it down before we ever get there. Mm -hmm. and that's what it does. Now, is there something that um, you know you provide at all with the rentals to, to do some of this stuff? Yeah, we provide natural gas pressure reducing stations that are already pre-piped, inlet and outlets pre-piped. It's sized for that unit, so we we size them. They just bring it in, bolt it right up to the to the gas train itself, and then hook into it, and they're ready to go. It, it makes it really really simple for the customer and the contractor, the installers, everybody in in the situation. Just makes it a lot easier for them. Perfect. Yeah, I know. Early early on, how many different situations that we were in and then it kind of drove us to do the Yeah, the because our technicians station. would call in and say, man, you got to quit doing that. The, 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 the operators or the installers put the gas pressure regulator in and it's coming down, it's in a vertical position, it can't be in vertical and then there's no downstream control lines. We just said, ah, we, we've dealt with enough of this, we're causing the customer issues, here's a solution that, that clears all that up for us. It's perfect. a great, great project cleared, for us. Cleared it up. So. Yep. Well, perfect, good information, and we will see you next time on The Boiling Point.